In the last episode of Cheeks to Champ, the struggles in Dallas continued for I Maverick as he suffered another blowout loss, this time at the hands of the Suns who shot lights out. In this video, I Mav will most likely continue to be hard headed and forego some much needed time in practice mode. Since switching to the Dallas Mavericks, he's falling into a two game losing streak. What's going on gamers? It's your boy I Maverick, aka Mr. Showtime, and this fool won't shut up and I can't do my intro. Just stop talking, please, just for a sec. What's up y'all, your boy Mad, well, aka Mr. Showtime. Uh, we're back to Cheeks the Champ. Quick heads up, this will be a full game video. Uh, your boy short on time this week. But, um, y'all about to be mad at me a little bit, man. I'm rolling with these here Mavs again and I ain't practice. I didn't practice. I'm so hard headed. I know I got blown out two times in a row, but I just think that I'm playing dumb. You know what I mean? And I just got to get back to playing smart and we'll be fine. So I'm going to just focus on that. You know what I mean? I'm going to focus on playing smart and not taking bad shots. You know, maybe feeding Dirk the ball a little bit more. And I think we'll be fine. Yeah, I mean. I mean, we're playing a tough Pacers team, but I just think the losses we had, yeah, we're parts of it because we didn't know the team. Yeah, you know, parts of it because, you know, we don't know what players can do, what, what, what releases they got. But I feel like I can still play through that. I don't know. I just got to be smarter with my decisions. You know what I mean? Get good shots. Let's do some pick and roll. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Smart moves. Just smart moves. And this is the first time they've matched up with the Mavericks this year. They controlled everything in both games last year. Don't no, I off. went to limit perimeter shots. That's the only reason you got that rebound. Uh, what you doing already, bro? Calm down, calm down, calm down. You ain't got to worry about none of this, bro. I'm trying to make all y'all niggas sad. I'm just coming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm like trying to. Yeah. Alright, let's go. On paper, they weren't evenly matched, and on the court, they weren't even. Here's Cole. You need to be feeding Dirk, man. Boy, Hibbert picking up that last pass. No, stop trying to hit the ball, man. Calderon passes to Ellis. Fade away, Dirk. There's Novitski. Let's go! So ugly. But I like that. I like that. Steve talked about last year when they met and how the differences existed between the two and maybe the same this year too. Good D. Well, that's the way you would expect it to play out, Kevin. Rebound. This is a different season. Let's go. Sean, all the way. Come on! Come on, dog! Hey, yo. We can't be doing that, man. We got to take advantage of everything. Good D. No. Good job. Assume he's gonna knock those down when he's as open as he was there. Novitsky sets a screen for Mary. Dai Lama! Dali Lama Bear! I love you, African. Haitian. Crap. That's old school basketball rules. I mean, at the end of the day, no easy layup. Come on, man. Off as well, so he misses both. Yeah. Come on, Dirk. 
time in the league. A solid defender that can give you a few points and, and block some shots. But last season, I'm February, worried already. I should have practiced. <laughs> a career high 35. And going back to Dallin Barrett last season, you're going to try and force it to dirt, man. Of his career and Yet, Steve, his minutes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Boy, that what is that, yo? I hate the Mavs, man. We might just go three losses and leave them. <laughs> I just hate them already. Good day! Here's West. What? Why can you do that? Well, that's how you pick up second chance points. Stay active, be energetic, and react as soon as the shot goes up. Back to Calderon. The feed now to Ellis. Let's go! Three point range. Let's go, Monte! Got himself going with the triple, his first basket. Good team. Good team. with the steal. And it's Ellis penetrating. Sean, get off the court, bum. You're just so bummy. What the f Ah, crap, I can't see. Okay. Come on, yo. Now we get a chance to check out the Dude, 2K is starting to make me rage a lot. A lot. This game makes me rage a lot. Good job. Stolen by Calderon. It's Ellis on the wing. Feeds Dirk, go up. Let's go, Dirk! Let's go, Dirk! Let's go, Dirk! He's got his second bucket of the game to go. Looks like he might be on his game today, Clark. Dolly Lama Bear! Great D that time. Leave me alone. Terrific defense. Monte. Monte. You know, that's part of what great defenders do. They get not only in your path, but in your head a little bit, too. Dirk. Now here's Dirk! Dirk, Dirk! Dirk! Crap. Dalai Lama Bear, get down. And, you know, his offense seems to be consistently there for this team. Marion again. Rebound. Here's Stevens. Rebound. That one's off. Dolly Lama Bear. So for Dallas, their last game, a win against. Get Dolly, Dolly Lama Bear tire. Okay, Blair's already coming in. Get in bounds. Dirt. Dirk. Dirk, I'm sorry. Dirk, that wasn't the best shot attempt. I'm sorry. Good D. Good D. Marion with the steal. Good shots, good shots. No. He's picked up by Hill. Poke loose. What the heck? Why is your defense just amazing? That's a bad shot. Yes, good job. Let's go. Let's go. Dirk. Okay, Dirk's still in. I think he had tunnel vision right there. Dirk. Come fade. No matter what else was going on. Calderon passes to Nowitzki. It's up a three. Sean! Here's Marion. N no, Marion. Passes it to Calderon. Ellis kicks to Nowitzki. But three. That was so dumb. Can't get it to go. Guys, so we're not doing good. They're coming off that win against the Nets. Rebound, please. That's another bad shot. I needed to be I needed to be bailed out there, guys. I needed to be bailed out. Can you bail me out, please? Steve, you are a great shooter, but you know that kind of shooting is not something the team is going to get on a nightly basis. But when you do get it, boy, does it feel good. Marion dishes. I wanted to pass to Dirk. I didn't want to give you the ball. Dallas moving it around. What was that? I swear I hit pump fake, man. I only tip tap that, dude. I'm starting to rate, dude. This game's starting to get to me like Madden, man. Monte, all the way. Just get fouled. Good job, Dirk. 
Dallas shooting their third and fourth free throw attempts of the game. Well, you got to like the free throw shooting from this club. Good job, Derek. They're, they're shooting 81%. Those are impressive numbers. Yeah, in general, they've been very solid. I mean, free throw shooting isn't something they've had to work on too much this season. Derek! I'm so nervous, man. I don't know these guys. And, like, I just want to play free. Happy New Year's, whatever. I'm not happy. This isn't a happy New Year. I'm stressed right now. Who we got? I feel like I should get my shooter in. You know what? And I think Coach has to be pleased with the effort, Steve. In a moment now to reset the lineups, courtesy of Gatorade. What the? F On the court for Indiana. I don't like this game no more. Mahini is up. There was scope. Then there's Not Danny Granger. Two, two and it's Hill at the point. Put one shoot in the bottom, one shoot on top of the bottom. Crowder can shoot. I know that. I know that much. Oh, yeah. You can talk about a lot of other powerful. Dalai Lama. Blair, whatever. My other African. That's what he's called. The other African. You suck. Go back to Africa. Now let's send it to Doris on the sideline. Good shot. Guys, though the Dallas Mavericks weren't able to lure Dwight Howard, they did sign a good starting point guard in Jose Calderon. A great floor general, good passer, solid shooter. That's what we need. That's what we need. Yeah, good situation for him. Thanks, Doris. Ooh, I was about to let Crowder wet that. On speaking of Luis Scola, two-time MVP of the Spanish, didn't come to the NBA until his late 20s. Good job, keep fouling. He was ready to go immediately because of his experience in Europe, where he was a go-to scoring threat. And you know he can do a lot of things offensively, whether it was posting up. Crowder can shoot, buddy. Let's go! For Indiana. I just got to get these releases down. That's it. Good day. You suck. You suck. You suck. You, you get all these open shots. Crowder, let's go. Guys, I'm doing dumb things again. <laughs> I'm doing dumb things again. I'm getting. Oh, uh, I'm just in a bad place right now. I think some urgency from him there. Yeah, he's sensing this is a critical time. Hey, bro, you can't take it. Hey, I'm going to make you know this. And it's Ellis. BC. I don't know releases, yo. And as we take a look here, the all-time career leaders in steals. Why you got short shorts on, Jordan? Play the game of basketball. John Stockton, Jason Kidd, Michael Jordan, Gary Payton is also up there. We call these guys two-way players. Impact What? This game isn't fun. I'm not having fun. Shut up. Play me and Maddie. Mentally and physically, they really pride themselves Come on, be smart. on playing smash mouth basketball and don't hesitate to get into your, get into your air. You can't even get that rebound, though. And it's gonna be out of bounds. The pace is oh, bad card. Can we get Dirk in, please? The standings out east already. We are in December. You look at the Pacers, and of course, the Mavericks, seven games back. What the? Here's Indiana. 
Come on, guys. Eight unanswered points for him. Get Dirk in. Clark Bain, what you said, the Pacers did get it in a few games last year where tempers flared and players got in each other's faces. But, you know, Steve, you look back at all the great defensive teams in NBA Spam Dirk. And not Spam Dirk. We're a group of amicable guys. <laughs> it's true. I mean, this was a great defense, and sometimes you have to ruffle feathers and get in people's faces uh, in terms of being tough and gritty defensively. And I think the Pacers understood that. George with the ball. Picked up by Ellis. What don't y'all understand about limit limit perimeter shots? Like, what, what don't you get about that? Let's go. Come on, Dirk. Dirk, you all we got, man. This whole team is marshmallow. Yes! You're about to get blocked. Oh, well. Yes! Dude, that all the games we've won, that's how we've won them, by playing defense. Running in transition. I just don't I don't feel like breaking my computer screen right now, so I have to call a timeout. Adjustment time for the defense, guys. I didn't set my my Emphasis to, to auto? Like, I was wondering why y'all sagging off his shots, man. It was a rough year for the Mavs and their fans. The first time since 2012 the Mavericks found themselves out of I the playoffs. I want to cry, yeah. Big reason why was they couldn't get the wins they needed on the road. Dirk, how you going to be tired, man? All right, let's go. Oh, no, 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 no. A different look for Dallas. Samuel Dallenberg is checked in for Crowder. Marion comes in for Vince Carter. And Ellington is subbed in for Ellis. Let's go, that's a foul. And back to the Mavs, 17 and 24 record on the road. You know, Steve, their struggles as the Mario team, brother. You know, one of the reasons why they were Crap, only no. a 500 team on the season at 41 and 41. And even though going 500 isn't a bad great D, road, Dirk. It is when you're the Dallas Mavericks. Okay. Okay, because you're Kobe. Oh, get that Super Mario work. Here's Dirk, can you just post up? The made shot from Stevenson. Counted and the first lead has been going like down to just six points it. and the bucket it, from Dirk Nowitzki. What a job he's doing here. I mean, his second quarter has been even better than his first, and that was pretty good. Now, here is Hill. He had a 21 point outing in their last game against Brooklyn. Come on, Dirk. We got to get stops on D, man. That's how he got himself to the free throw line. And a moment now. You don't win games if you don't get stops. Boy, the three point shot has really been dropping for him early on. Right. Super Mario, please. Let's go. Mahimi's yeah. checked in for him. And it's Watson in for him. Super Mario, you're a midget. You have to be able to do something, right? Look at Shane Larkin, the son of Hall of Fame shortstop Barry Larkin. He said he's been working his whole life to get out of his father's shadow, and now he's got his opportunity. Come on, yo. An ACC championship and a Sweet 16 berth. <laughs> and back to Sherman as they call him, Shane Larkin, 5'11 in shoes, Clark. Yeah, he plays much bigger and elite athlete. How about the 44-inch vertical, second highest ever 
measured at the combine, but can you play? Yes, he can. This young fella's got game. Come on, y'all. <laughs> Deflects the pass. Feel, boy. And it's out of bounds. The Mavericks able to retain possession here. Oh, dude. Oh, man. Yeah, so close to picking that pass off, guys. At least he got a hand on it. He did what he needed Oof, to do to make sure it didn't hit the rebound. Top. Back up. Danny Granger is checked in. Good job. Paul Let's try and end this on some type of confidence. Let's go. I can't do it. Let's go. Good job. Ellington hits them both. Boy, his free throw shooting, just another reason. He's such a good all-around player. Mahini kicks to Watson. Oh, I would have cried if that would have went in, man. Oh, my God. I, have, I don't have no water or nothing. I like to drink water when I'm struggling in life. All right, come on. Let's come out with energy, man. Let's give a second quarter push. Second, I mean, um, oh crap. Second half push. And we'll be good, man. I just don't feel like we have any kind of confidence or any kind of swag with this team. You know what I mean? Which we definitely have with the Thunder. But it's not just about having a good team because we eventually got there with the Suns. So. Yeah, I think you might even have a few more tricks up the sleeve. And he'll break them out as we start heading down the stretch here. Debo Bow, boy. Come on, man. Marion and Nowitzki at the forwards. We just got to have better defense, and we'll be straight. And it's down there in a the five down low. Like, I need, I, need to, I need to figure out how to become more proactive on defense instead of just, like, coming off the ACL tear back in 2011. I think he's completely back as far as that injury is concerned. He was so good last year, particularly in the playoffs. Come on. Oh, oh, it's tipped. I'm done with the Mavericks. They suck. they're not backing off at all, are they? Now here's averaging 12 points. I hate these guys. And David West, Clark, the locker room leader for the Pacers last season. You can't now, make an A minus, bro. Eastern Conference Finals, and a guy I know that you greatly admire. Oh my goodness, love the way he does his work. I call him Real Deal 21. <laughs> There's nothing fluffy about what he gets done, and he's so smart and so savvy in how he approaches the game, and really a lion in the locker room for the Pacers. This That's sucks. why that team is so tough in many ways, particularly defensively. In with Doris Burke reporting from our sideline in this game. Doris, take it away. Well, the Mavericks have been a terrific franchise. Life was so much better so before we start playing with these dummies. I hate these guys. What a passion. Culminating all with that NBA championship in 2011. But as much I hate the Mavs, man. Why did I pick them, yo? Unusually willing to part with great players, whether Steve Nash or Tyson Chandler. And with the Mavs of late unable to attract the top three agents with their cap space, some fans might be left wondering if perhaps they should have danced with the ones who brought them. Guys? Interesting, Doris. Thanks. Four on the clock. Good team! Dirk! That's what I need you to do. Be a superstar man. Okay, Dirk, can you be a superstar man for me? See, that gets my energy percolating a little bit. Holderone dishes to Ellis. Pass to Nowitzki. Back to Ellis. For three, Calderon. Crap. Dalai Lama! Dalai Lama Bear! Only down 10, and there's tons of game, y'all. Let's try and go 3 2 zone. Maybe that does something. I don't know. Crap. Ooh, let's go. Let's go. Marion? Sure can't. Not one you'd expect him to miss there. Marion passes to Calderon. That was with it. Picked up by Hibbert. Calderon, no good. 
You know, he just hasn't looked right to me. Right now. Oh, 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 man, man, man. You know, with that kind of height disadvantage, all of the Here's where the blowout starts. Up. Watch him punch it home and hope he doesn't get landed on. What is that, yo? And the officials How come he can just not very careful there? Let's take a look now at some of the numbers for George. He's putting up about I need a break. four points a game. I need a break just from this. Steals and six I just rebounds. need a break. And with him, you get so much, but really having someone lead the way scoring-wise is probably his best attribute. And you know, Steve, it's not easy to find consistent scoring, but he definitely feels that need for this team. Right, he's checked in for the Mavericks. So he can just try and steal all willy-nilly and get steals. But I got my computer that can't even play without getting fouls. And I don't know how to play defense. You know, it's really hard not to notice the difference in the passing of these two teams today. Yeah, look at the discrepancy in this, the assist column between these two teams. Kavitsky gets the whistle that time. That's his fourth foul of the contest. That's his fourth foul. I'm sure he recognizes the situation because number five has put him in a rough, tough spot. What the? It was certainly a slow start to the season for the Come Pacers. On. Their veteran and leading scorer, Danny Granger, was on the shelf with a knee injury, but somehow this team found its identity around defense and the emergence of some younger players that may serve him well going forward. You get Danny Granger back with the young emerging talent, this team should contend for a while. I hate you. Well, we and by you, I mean everyone on this team. Watson comes in for George Hill. Granger with the bucket. Why is everyone freaking good at 2K? Like there's no just like complete noobs. That I can play done. right now and just beast on? Like, why is everyone just good at the game? And, Granger was able to come and why is it taking me so long to just get good at it? Had to once again miss the rest of the games, but the team had grown to where, you know, that probably didn't derail them as it might have Steve in the paint. Sean Marion, you have the ugliest freaking shot in the history of life. This fool's freaking hop stepping and whatnot. Like, I thought your record was zero and zero, dude. Where do you even? I don't even know how to do that. Like, come on, son. Hey, what the? F and it's gonna be out of bounds. The Pacers will take it. And the Mavericks will go for a different look here. To one play. He's checked in for right. Jay Crowder comes in for Dirk Nowitzki. Vince Carter is checked in for Sean Marion. And it's Larkin in for Jose Calderon. I don't even feel like playing this, yo. Like, the shot quality is very good. I have no and desire to want to get better with these guys. I just want to. I wish I could delete them off of the entire game so that I don't ever see them again. And a moment here to take a look at the scoring breakdown for the Pacers. Man, they keep piling up the assists, guys. Great ball movement. Boy, it's been a super performance from beyond the arc, too. I mean, they've been reining in those three. Here's Cranger. No luck. Now the Mavericks take it the other way. The Mavericks have really struggled at the line in this one. Well under 50 like, dang, so you got to freaking practice all these the releases. I hate this. So an entirely new group in now for Indiana. I just want to win, yo. Knocking my freaking connection loose. And it's Can't even see the screen. For CJ Watson. <sighs> and Indiana making a change here. Rangers checked in. You know, when Danny Granger was out with injury last season, he saw that the Pacers team had become really Paul George's and Roy Hibbert's team as they became the new faces. While some would throw a fit about it, Granger said he was proud of them and happy to take a lesser role. He just wants to get back out there. Ellis goes in. Can't even freaking pass the ball, dude. Foul is shot. the shot clock in the game. And that's out of bounds. Indiana will retain possession. Mavericks making a switch here. 
Poked away. And stolen by Blair. And here we go. And it's sent back by George. And they're able to recover. And the shot's good from Crowder. Here's Indiana. They're on a 16-7 run. George up top. And there's a nice one-handed slam. You know, when the score is lopsided as it is, you can smell blood in the water. And he's going in for the kill right now. The Pacers have shot 10 of 11 at the line. Nice work so far for them. And in general, this has been a very good foul shooting team, about 79% on the season. You guys, that's really an upgrade over how they shot last season. Not a huge upgrade, but an upgrade nonetheless. A oh, little bit of a magic act here, pulling off the Houdini to make that catch and slam. Stupendous, stupendous alley-oop. Mm, this crowd just stunned at the sight of that one. And at the end of the third quarter... we conclude the third quarter pretty much a blowout it's been a one-sided affair Dallas shooting from the field 44 percent not bad down low Weston Hibbert George and Granger on the perimeter and it's Hill in at the point guard so that's the group out there for Indiana now they're not showing too much respect for him defensively are they Hibbert gets the bucket. They've got to continue to put pressure on the defense by probing inside. That's what's really working for them. And when you're doing the job they are inside, it takes pressure off the perimeter guys. Now, here is George. Vince Carter missing his last shot. Blessed with the ball. Now guarded by Dallenberg. And Samuel Dallenberg picks up the foul. That's his first foul. First team foul. Well, they're not going to get back into this game when they commit frustration fouls like that. How about exasperation fouls? I mean, that's what it looked like to me. It's an indication of the kind of game they've been having. Dallas making a switch here. Dallas has checked in. Your release is stupid, dude. You look like a dang gremlin, too. You suck. Dwayne Wade's way better than you. He nuts. And by nuts, I don't mean cashew. I mean penal nuts. Nuts that hang under a penis. That's, that's what I mean. The entire Mavericks organization. Balance is in your decision making, and that's the trickiest thing for really talented young players to figure out. It's just when to attack and when to back off a little bit. And that's all stuff that just comes with experience. Dallas again missing, and uh, the officials call the foul. Stop fouling, y'all! Want this game to be over, bro? His teammates are baffled. Yeah, everybody's kind of looking at him like, "What are you doing?" I mean, I, I think he just lost track of the situation. Out of bounds. Still the Pacers ball. Here's Copeland. Why is it so easy for him, yo? Does this dude really have releases down like that much? I mean, defense did not look very good there. And that's an intentional foul. I'm not sure what he was thinking about there. That's a that's a strange foul. <laughs> you guys can't even pass the ball right now? Who knows? Maybe he just wanted to take a break for a minute. Novitski. Goes to the fadeaway and hands it. Well, when you combine Dirk's height with his touch and his release, which is basically behind his head, he becomes impossible to defend. And unless he's just missing his jump shot that night, you're, you're in for a long night. Especially when you couple it with his knack for playing with his back to the basket when he wants to. Often Dirk will catch it on the low block, lean into a defender to create some space, and then the next thing you know, he's up in the air knocking down that jumper. Catching up on the changes now for Indiana. Roy Hibbert's checked in for Mahini. West comes in for Luis Scola. Paul George, he's checked in for Orlando Johnson. 
And it's Hill in for C.J. Watson. Ugh, Dirk is kind of good, good, though. Good, and the assist goes to Ellis. 19 points for Nowitzki. Guys, he shot a very good percentage today, and they've needed it. It's by so Hill. you just got steals for days. Indiana moving the ball around. Outside, George. And he drops it in. That's from stupid, the yeah. George has got 28 points for the game. And he has picked it up here in the second half, really lighting it up now. And right kicks to Mary. It's tipped. And that's out of bounds. Dallas will retain possession. Samuel Dallenberg, he's checked in for Dallas. Here's Nowitzki. And David West gets the whistle that time. That's foul number two for him. Ellis dishes to Calderon. Dallas, no good that time either. Some of the shots he's taken have been real head scratches. I mean, come on. He's out there playing like it's a game of horse at the park. The three from Hill. Mavericks with the rebound. Calderon gets a screen from Dalembert. Here's Novitsky. And it's good. He planted his feet on the pick and shield the defender off. They've had assists now on their last three baskets. And it's not just their passing, but their cutting, their movement together as a unit that's led to that. They double him with Novitsky. Some solid D from Novitsky. And that one misses. So Indiana ends up with a new group on the floor. And the second free throw, good. I'm sure he'd like that miss back. Hard to chip away at a lead when you're leaving points at the line. Watson, the pass to Johnson. Here's Mahimi. <laughs> Chains it straight down. Time to turn out the lights on this game. I think they deserve a ton of credit for the way they played here today. Truly a professional display. Now here's Nowitzki. And a big Ugh, Dirk is kind of good, though. Nowitzki's Dirk is kind of good. Just the second half. Pacers leading by 21. And Dirk Nowitzki gets the whistle. That's Smack him across the face like the little hoe that he's become. Well, at this stage, you might as well have a seat and get off the floor. They've got no chance in this. Did he, I fouled out the game. Is that what they said? Now here's Granger. Pocket six. Fader on the way. And that one comes up a bit short. Mavericks trailed by 21. And guys, with this one winding down, it's obvious to everyone who's watched it. I mean, just a total mismatch in a, a true show of strength for the Pacers. Mark, look at their number of assists. Well, they minimized the one-on-one -on -one situations, Kevin. They got the ball moving, and it found the open guy. Great ball move. You're right. And guys, at this point in the long NBA season, this will go down as win number 25. And you have to look back at this and see what a huge game it's been for Paul George. He was extremely efficient offensively, getting looks, knocking down big shots all game long. Indiana's gotten just one of four three-pointers to go down for them here in the fourth. Three-pointer, Cringer. And the Pacers can't get it to go. Here's Calderon. No good. Nice Steve from Watson. Some rugged defense there against one of the stronger finishers in the game. And it's right, sending it back. Of course, we block it right into him. 23 seconds left in the fourth quarter. And they go to the intentional foul. I'm not sure what he was thinking about there. That's a that's a strange foul. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe he just wanted to take a break for a minute. 
Catching up on the changes for Dallas. Dewan Blair, he's checked in for Dallas. Jay Crowder comes in for Sean Marion. And it's Carter in for Ellis. Here's Mahimi. It's in. Just look at how quickly their lead has grown over the course of the last few possessions. Well, they've really saved their best for last, haven't they? So no problem for Indiana. God first, God bless.